as I remember where I was when I first heard it. <laughs> Oh, All man. right, let's take some phone calls on the Tri-State Buick GMC listener hotline. We go to Art in Poughkeepsie. Art. Oh. Oh. Wow. Sounds like you lost on a, on a game show when that happened. Boom, 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 he wanted boom, to say that the Mets should get Puig. Uh, oh, let's, uh, let, you know, we haven't heard from him in a while, Don. Let's bring in Sour Shoes. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> Hi, it's Chris Carlin here. <laughs> <laughs> Chris? I love that. Amco, double A, MCO. Now, a lot of people have always said I sound like Rush Limbaugh on, uh, on estrogen, but I don't, I don't think that's true. I'm John Hyde. Hey, Jason Kaplan, get over here. Hit it with the hey. Oh, <laughs> so I understand that, uh, and I'm going to put Robin Quivers on in just a second. I understand that you guys are having fun at my, at my expense today. But when we go into those creative meetings at SNY, I mean, we don't have to deal with Scott Farrell anymore. Check it out, brother. I mean, I got to tell you something. I was banging. I got 10 games right last night around the age of baseball. We're going to be talking hockey. You know who's the – Michael, you know who's the only guy as a fan who ever gave me a tie on the back? It's actually – ironically, it was Don Imus. He said, really? Oh, well, I like what you're doing there. Scott, I like how you play that song. I know you don't play well in Jenna's and the good country music, but I like that you play that uh, hard rock music. <laughs> and I, I love to enjoy that. It's uh, 26 minutes past the hour. Um, Kinky Friedman coming up. And Charles with the news. <laughs> Hi, this is Robin Cribbers. How are you? And that's what's happening. <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> well, no, Alexis is a great girl. She, you know, I, I always thought she was better than beer. That show was a lot better than beer money. I mean, how that even got any ratings? I, I did that basically rolling out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, Bernardi? You know what's so funny? Uh, him and Hine, they look like, I mean, Fitzpatrick would get so much protection if they had to do it. I'm up front. But uh, I got so hungry yesterday. <laughs> you were talking about the Yankees. My favorite team was the 85 team because you remember that was the last chance of a real legitimate subway series before they went to the wild club format. And the Yankees and the Mets were both one game out on September 12, 1985. They played both played games at home, which was a rarity back then. Both, both the Yankees beat the Blue Jays, the Mets beat the Cardinals. They both went into first place on the same day. And that was I it. remember that, Artie. Yeah, remember Ron Hassey hit one in the upper deck? Yes. <laughs> That's why I like what's happening with the Yankees right now. Right. We're finally getting back to competitive balance. I mean, I would love it if they scrapped interleague play in the wild card, but that, that's not going to happen. Odd but, you were wearing uh, sweats that day. Oh, yeah, I was. And you know what's so funny? <laughs> I had just watched T.J. Hooker that after. <laughs> you know what we haven't heard Heather? from a lot? We have not. Mike, Mike has not called in the show. Oh, uh, yeah. Francesco? Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on, Cotton. Let me go paint. Let me get him on the phone. It's crowded over there. All right, right, we're back. (laughs) We're going to talk to Sweeney today. Sweeney is the ambient. Okay. All right. The human ambient. All right, we'll take your phone calls. And, uh, oh, good to talk to Mike and Tom. Put them up. Peter, how you you doing today? (laughs) Hey, Hey, Mike. How you doing, buddy? I'm great. Great just walking around. I just had a view of a couple of Parmesan and a Diet Coke. (laughs) Wait a second. What line is he on? <laughs> is that old or is that new? Is that a true, is that a true story? <laughs> Mike, how does it feel to be number one? Listen, I've been number one for over 20, since, since 1980, snoring. And uh, you can't even touch me. Don't, if you're going to bring a baby gun, don't come to a rapper range, okay? <laughs> All right? Uh, here he is, Mr. Matt. Uh, let's go to Ira and stand out. Ira, go ahead. Hey, guys, I'm really happy about the Fitzpatrick signing. So now John Horning can finally shave his beard. But I just wanted to mention one thing. Do you remember Punky Brewster was the lead in to, to 227 back in 1984? Of course. <laughs> uh. Gibbs, where is she now? <laughs> yeah. Good morning. Uh, that was a good point, though. I thought the sitcoms back then in their sleep could do better than what they got on TV right now. I mean, you remember, that was Amen. That was with Sherman Helmsley. Yes. That was an excellent show. I mean, you had TGIF back then. It was great. I think even different strokes moved over to ABC. And basically, Willis and Arnold were the modern, were the Daryl Strawberry and the Dow couldn't have been ever. That's fair. Could I'm telling you. 
same, same, same era, though. I've been saying, but listen, you're saying that, and I thought Philip Drummond was excellent what he did with those two kids. And just, just to make a, a reference, the uh, Kelly Johnson looks exactly like that F the FBI, the guy that was on trial with the whole thing with Hillary Clinton. That's Kelly Johnson. Same, and uh, President, and uh, uh, what was his, the Ohio uh, governor's name? Uh, uh, Kasich. Kasich, there you go. Tommy, Tommy Johnson. It's exact. Look at the two of them. Look at Squish, right, Mike? Uh, I kind of see it, dog. They both kind of do look like uh, uh, Kasich and Tommy John. I can see that. <laughs> hey, let me ask you something. Do you think you'd have uh, uh, Tommy John underwear? Would you have Tommy? <laughs> let me ask you something. Uh, Scott the Engineer made a great point the other day in the newsroom. Uh, another great lookalike. I, I don't know if you're going to see if you see it or not, but that Taylor Swift and Beth Ostrowski Stern. I mean, that... <laughs> That is a perfect lookalike. Uh, hey, Chris, are you sorry that you left Mike? Say it again? Are you sorry that you left Mike, Chris? Oh, I am. We still have sleepover parties. Uh, <laughs> Jeannie, That's nice. Jeannie has them over, and Don knows about it with his beautiful wife and the Giants and everything. We have Jeannie has Mike over. We have Direct TV still at the house. We have Jeannie cooks chicken parmesan. Uh, it's not a lot. Uh, with the whole March thing, the whole reunion, it was great. Mike and I are think, we're thinking about doing these shows uh, once a month, these road shows. Be back in it. Dog, dog and I, we started Radio Road. You know that, right? <laughs> we started Radio Road. We started the shows from the garden during the Nixon and Road, okay? Dog and I, we had it with each other, you know. Uh, the, whole, the whole incident on the plane ride home from uh, Houston, okay? You know about that. Mike, would you take Dog back? I would. Dog. No, Mike. I'm asking Mike, dog. <laughs> that's Isn't that amazing, Susan? They got uh, two boys. I know, John. It's hard to get the two of them on the same page. Uh, I would take I would take dog back. Okay, I'm only got a year and a half left on my contract. <laughs> dog is finishing up with Sirius. Uh, I don't know too much about Hulu or all these other... Uh, <laughs> you don't? To to wow. Room. I would do a podcast. I'm not a podcast guy. Uh, I was on with that Katie Nolan. She's a football boy. She's a bungled energy. I don't do many podcasts, but I did our show. That's and right. I do. And Boomer is nice. <laughs> it's great. Hey, Sid Rosenberg, can you get Boomer in here? I, what? What do you want me to say? Hey, it's me. It's buddy Craig Carton here. <laughs> but hey, I, Craig, I, what do you, Craig, what do you think of Mike? Listen, the two of us, we, I mean, we, the second we got to WFAN, Boom and I, Mike, uh, he didn't open us. The only one who, who opened us, who gave us opening of welcome was... Uh, with Steve Summers. Oh, I did. No. What's, and what, let me hear this. And what's with you ain't a chance to see this? What? You got a nine iron. I don't know what. Maybe his nine iron can carry, maybe some of the med hitters should use a nine iron when they get to the plate. What already? And you know from the number. You know from the number as a 718 and a 937 is a 666. And what is it already? I think the, I think the Olympics are starting. I want to see 800 meters swimming. What? What is it? Already? So he was the only guy that really welcomed us. And then, as you, you know, nine years into our, into our thing together here, and we're hearing Mike and the Mad Dog Hall of Fame. Commercials every half hour with the Paul Turner and introduce Mike and the Mad Dog into the Radio Hall of Fame, into the Sports Radio Hall of Fame. On the and here is John Minko, with Sports Front Terry Tournament. Here's me, and like, <laughs> yeah, but we can't we all just love each other here? Boom, I know that, but come on, Chris, all right, all right. So, all right, Jerry's here with the update, Jerry. <laughs> This sports report brought to you by 1-800-CARS-FOR-KIDS. Don't hit your car today and get a free tax write-off. <laughs> but it's but the thing that kills me is when Craig imitates me in the morning, is what drives me nuts is he always says, Oh, my God, John, let me tell you something. I'm on the Let's go down to Susan, who's on the field, and Meredith Morakovich. Oh, my God, John. Susan, uh, Meredith's with me right now. And <laughs> you're not going to believe who's in the crowd. Jerry Mumphrey, who was the last time the Yankees, Sold off the team was 1980 Nord, and it was Mel Hall who came in. Mel Hall, who was batting cleanup that day. I know, Susan. It was my first year broadcasting. Michael was still with the Post. Am I correct with that? Yes, you are. And John, I remember it well because Jesse Barfield, who was acquired that, who was becoming, who was acquired earlier that season, was doing most of the damage thing. And you remember on August 9th, the Yankees were only five and a half games out in a division. If you remember the Indians, all the way to first place, the Orioles led the division after having a woeful team the year before. 
Sour oh, yeah, shoes, sour shoes. We love you. Yeah. This is great. I love you, Mikey. You just, you just made our day. Uh, Thank you, buddy. Uh, Call in whenever you. you like. Wow, <sighs> one of How his best. He, first of all, he really knows sports. I mean, I mean the stuff he's saying is true. true. With the I mean, Audi that stuff with is true. Yeah, so it's good. I mean, because there was a day when the Mets played the Cardinals and the Yankees mm-hmm. played the Blues. I covered I both that. games yeah. for the Post. It was like one of my first biggest. He knows sports, and how does he have all those voices in his head? And to do them right on top of each other the way he does is really good. That was fun. That was great. Did you like that, Petey? Uh, I did very much. That was. I, I got to tell you though, there you cannot overstate how good his Frances is. It, there's oh, it's n- unbelievable. It, and Artie, Artie and Frances. His Artie and Frances are. I mean, and Gary too. And, the, the, and the one he, he didn't do Gary, but Gary's one of his. Russo's best. not bad either. Russo's, Russo's, Russo's not bad, good. but Frances is like per- totally everything he does is perfect with it. He's a psychotic. Uh, Ryan liked his Craig Carton. I didn't know if it was perfect. Carton. I didn't like the Carton. No. I didn't. I didn't hear it. And the Boomer, I couldn't really tell. Right. I think he's great. I mean, oh, what? He's fabulous. I, if there was a niche for that, he should have a show in Las Vegas. It's... I mean, he's that good. He's that good. <sighs> Thank you, Sour Shoes. Anytime you want to call in, take over the air. Please. We might have a uh, Brian Cashman. I'm told. Whoa. Okay. Cool. All right. So that'll be cool. Uh, we'll give away more stuff. Uh, you stay right where you are. Kayla Greco Rosenberg and you on yes and 98.7 ESPN.